Hello everyone, today in this video I am going to show you how you can easily integrate Amazon S3 on your WordPress website and you can easily upload your course videos, files or media files and if you add any media file and it will be automatically upload on your Amazon S3 folder or bucket and this feature will help you for your LMS website, movie or OTT platform or video gallery website, file sharing website, digital download website. You can use this method or functionalities for any WordPress website. So let's get started and before starting this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So first of all, you have to log in your WordPress dashboard and I have installed a fresh WordPress website. See, this is my new WordPress website and I want to integrate these features on my WordPress website. So first of all, go to your plugins and click on add new. When I use a simple plugin, so just search S3 and active this plugin WP Upload Media. Just click on install to install this plugin and click on active button and see we have got a new plugin and click on settings or you can hover over on settings and go to WP Upload Media. Just click on this uh, option and see you have got a new uh, notice. How to remove this notice and how you can integrate uh, Amazon S3 on your WordPress website. Just uh, scroll down and select Amazon S3. After that you have to select your connection method. Just I wanna select uh, first one wp-config.php. I wanna edit this file uh, from my file manager. So uh, scroll down and we have to use this code. Just copy this code and go to your uh, cPanel or open your file manager. So if you don't have any file manager, just add your new file manager plugin. Just search for file manager and active any file manager and click on active. So go to WP file manager, just click on file manager and see we have got our WordPress files, folders, our WordPress root directory and see we have got WP config.php file. So edit this file, just click on right button and click on code editor and see we have got some uh, codes just paste this code uh, go back to the uh, code option just copy this code and paste this code over here uh, just follow my video and my steps just paste it and see we have to paste our access key id and access secret key so how you can find your access secret key and access key? Just visit aws.amazon.com. So just visit this website and uh, sign up your account using your uh, any credit card, debit card or MasterCard. So and you can easily click on sign in to the console and search for IAM and see we have got a new option or service and click on this service IAM because I wanna add new user IAM user and then click on users and click on add users so if you don't have any user just click on add user and type your username so uh, I am typing my username uh, for example, I am typing Ajharul uh, Ajhar Rashad. So this is my username. So you can type your any username or anything, whatever you want. And after that, you can select credential type. So uh, select this option, access key, uh, programmatic access. So just select this option and click on next permission. And you can set permission for this user. I want to attach existing policies. Just click on third one. And see, we have got a search bar. Just search for S3. So search for S3 and see Amazon S3 full access. Just check on it and click on next, next button. And I want to blank this option. I don't add anything. Just click on review or next. And see, 
this is our account summary or overview and we have uh, give permission amazon s3 uh, full access for this user so just click on a user and see successfully create a new user and you have to download this uh, csv file uh, make sure you can save this file csv file because this is our access key and access secret and we need this file and save this file on your computer and copy the access key and go back to this option config.php just edit this file and see this is our access key id just remove all stars and paste your access key id and go back to your IAM manager just click on show and copy this option secret key and go back to your config file and see secret access key just remove all star and paste your access secret key just follow my video and uh, follow my steps and click on save and close okay and again go back to your wp config media plugin page uh, just go to settings and click on wp offload media and reload this page and see you have got a new page so just you have to add a new uh, bucket or you can select your existing bucket if you click browse existing bucket and you will see your existing bucket but i want to create a new bucket just click on new bucket to create a new bucket so and see bucket details just type your bucket name so you can type anything just use hyphen or you can add anything and select your server region so i am selecting an virginia then click on create new bucket see we have created a new bucket and this is our bucket settings or storage settings and you can edit your uh, bucket option again and or you can go to again your media option so make sure open this option upload media and copies media files is the storage provider after being uploaded just check this option and see remove local media uh, so if you wanna remove local media after uploaded on your s3 bucket it will be automatically remove your local media files just you can check this option so before check this option i wanna add a new media you can see this option just upload our new file i'm selecting this image for testing purpose and click on copy clipboards uh, i wanna copy this link and paste it and see we have got our bucket name and amazon aws and our wp content uploads and this is our file location and i wanna open this file and see we have got our uh, new uh, storage file and if you go to your amazon storage just go to uh, the aws and search for s3 and go to your s3 bucket just click on s3 and see we have got our s3 bucket and that's name azhar rashid bucket so just open this bucket and open wp contents wp folder and go to your file location so see we have got amazon s3.png so it will be automatically uploaded our amazon s3 bucket and i want to check this file uh, on my upload folder just go to file manager and check your local file see amazon s3 so this is automatically save our local file and also save on your s3 bucket i don't want to save these files on my local server because of i wanna reduce my server space so that's why disable this option just go back to the settings upload media settings and scroll down and you can uh, check this option remove local media so just check this option and you can rename prefix i wanna add media slash and that will be my prefix just type your prefix and see this is our domain name and this is our prefix and year month so i wanna disable this option i don't uh, add here our uh, object version bucket uh, disable this option and you can customize your link 
just using these options and click on save changes and again go back to your media option just reload this page and select your media file select this screenshot and click on open and copy the url and paste it and see uh, this is our domain name bucket domain name and our media and screenshot and go back to your uh, file manager or check your local file and reload this option and see we don't have any second file uh, that's name is screenshot and you can check your screenshot on your amazon bucket just go to your bucket and go to your media and see you have got media and see screenshot is here and again go back to settings and if you face any bucket security issues just click on edit and click on security and disable these options after that click on this button to save your changes so that's all and if you add any uh, course on your website or you can try to add course lesson just edit your course if you add video on your lesson and it will be automatically upload on your s3 bucket i hope this video will help you and if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe their youtube channel to get more valuable videos